Hi guys, I received this word last night at around 9 p.m. I am putting up this word this morning. It's August 23rd. I received it on August 22nd. Please prayerfully discern this word and all words you hear. And if anyone would like to add me scripture, please do so in the comments. Hey, it says, my daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. What is the key? Who is the narrow gate? Are all of you part of a fallen creation or just the bad and evil people? Hint, you are all with sin. I do not base salvation on sin. I base it on the acceptance of my sacrifice for it. Your creator left no stone unturned when he made the plan of salvation, not one. It is a perfect plan which simply requires belief in your Messiah. Your Messiah is the blood sacrifice atoning for the sin of the world. This leaves nothing to chance. There is no gray area. If you believe in the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, you receive salvation. Seem too simple? Yes, to some it does. Their pride leads them into judgment of others. They judge their brethren that seem to be falling short of their own standards. My standard is belief. Their standards are put in place by the devil himself. Their standards are more than just believing. Their standards require extra payments. As your creator, is there an extra payment that a man could pay me? I gave my life as a sacrifice for sin, the sin of the world. What could a man possibly add? Nothing. Too many believe the false teachings of many, promoting men's works. My salvation comes by believing, believing that I loved you enough to be the sacrifice for your sin. I will guarantee you with 100% certainty that a life of sin will lead to a dead end, even death if it comes to that. But believers who have received me will share in my eternal rest. They will receive salvation just as a murderer who received me on their deathbed. All those who teach a dis different gospel than this lie. They lie for the enemy, for they claim that man is in control of his sin. This is not true. You see, man is condemned and I am the answer. I am the only freedom from sin that a man will ever have. I free my children from the bondage of sin and shower all of my children with my love. When they believe in my sacrifice, they are free from sin. Yet some continue in it because they cannot comprehend their new freedom. Men's actions do not determine where they will spend eternity. I do. Men's actions, good or bad, bring upon their lives blessings or curses, and their free will determines blessings or curses. Just as their free will will determine whether or not they will spend eternity with me. The only thing that keeps a man from believing in me is the pride of their flesh which is ultimately a consequence of them believing Satan's lies. No man can earn salvation, and no man can return it to me once he believes it or receives it. Believe as a child, and you will be received into my kingdom. Set everything you've been taught by men aside and ask me into your heart, and you will receive salvation. Is this where I want my children to stop at salvation alone? No, I wish for a personal and loving relationship, an enduring relationship with every single child that receives me. 
Will they still sin? Yes. But the difference between my child and a lost child is that my child will know they're in their heart that their debt has been paid. My children receive the power of my Holy Spirit. He is their guide and he leads them down straight and easy paths. So even when they do fall, he can easily pick them up and set them straight and on their way. The devil loves nothing more than to operate and wreak havoc in the lives of my children. My children that are weak in faith and still stuck in this world. Ask my Holy Spirit and he will throw you a life ring. Climb inside and he will pull you back in the boat. It is my desire that every child of mine call upon my Holy Spirit, for with him all temptation will be conquered, and with him you will remain on my path, my path that is for you and not your own. Your own path leads to destruction, yet my path leads to perfect peace. It is never too late for a man to receive me as their, as their savior. And it is never too late to invite my Holy Spirit in to be your guide. He is alive and active and a pure help in every situation. And for what will be coming upon your earth, essential for your well-being. I wish no harm to come to my own but my own that refuse to call upon my Holy Spirit will not endure as the ones who do. Before calamities strike at home, call upon my Holy Spirit, for he will protect you and guide you through anything you face. My heart is for all of my children to have an intimate and personal relationship with me, not through man-made religion, but just you and I. A mustard seed sized amount of faith is all it takes to know me. Open your heart and let me do the rest. Your sin, past, present, and future has already been judged on my body on the cross. Walk my way, the way of freedom, and your sin will flee from you. You see, though you live in a corrupt world now, this is not your home. Come home now, my loves. Come home so you will not have to suffer what is to come. Come home now, my loves, and experience my love and peace that passes all of your understanding. I love you, my children, Yeshua HaMashiach.